start na po tayo. So, good morning po sa lahat. So, ang topic po po ngayon ay Google Meet. Google Meet Basics at Basic Troubleshooting and Computer Care. So, why Google Meet? Dahil, number one, up to 250 members per call. Number two, ability to join meetings from the web or through the Android or iOS app. Integration with Google Calendar for one-click meeting calls. Then, screen sharing to present documents, spreadsheet, or presentation. Number five, record meetings and share it through Google Drives. Okay. Lastly, present video and audio file with the use of Google Chrome browsers. Video meeting requirement. So, Meet supports the current version of this operating system. So, Apple, Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, Chrome OS, at Ubuntu and other Debian-based Linux distribution. Supported browser. Number one is okay, Google Chrome. Pumapangalawan dyan ang Mozilla Firefox. Microsoft Edge. Then, Apple Safari. Allow me to use your camera and microphones. Okay, so before you start using Meet, you need to allow access to your computer's camera and microphone. In a web browser, go to meet.google.com. Sa pinaka right part, may makikita kayong star at camera icon dyan. So, i-click nyo po yung camera icon. Makikita ninyo yung mga ginamit or gumagana na audio at camera dito sa inyong Google Meet. So, lagi nyo pong titignan sa taas. Pindutin nyo yung continue, allowing Google Meet to access your camera. So, kapag click nyo yan, sigurado po maritinig na kayo dyan. Pero, kapag hindi pa rin po gumana, so, punta tayo dito sa volume icon. Left click natin, then open sound setting. Okay, so, dito sa sound setting po, makikita natin lahat ng mga nakakonect na um, peripherals dito sa ating device. Okay? So, makikita nyo po dito, output at saka input. So, ibig sabihin po ng output dito, ito po yung naririnig. Ito po yung speaker ninyo. So, dapat kumagalaw siya. Dito naman sa input, ito po yung mic ninyo. So, gumagalaw yan, ibig sabihin, gumagana yung inyong microphone. Use better equipment for output and input of sound. Pag bibili po kayo ng headset, kailangan po yan, noise cancelling din. Hindi man sa natatanggal siya, pero nababawasan. So, headset with noise cancelling. Headset with mic. Headset with mic condenser. Additional hardware and network requirement. So, use of cameras. Kailangan nyo po ng built-in web camera like this. Your device work with LCD LED, projector type monitors, and television. So, yan po yung tinatawag na VGA or Video Graphics Array. Yung HDMI, which is the High Definition multi Multimedia Interface, yan na po yung pinakagamitin ngayon. DBI. Screen resolution must be at least 1280 times 720 Resolution po, yan po yung nakikita nating display. So, yan po yung mga standard na resolution. Cat 5 Ethernet cable, cable for wired network connection. Bilis talaga yung internet nang nakakonek sa LAN cable kaysa sa mga naka-wireless. Network requirements. We recommend a wired network connection for the best sound and video quality. So, outbound signals from a participant in all situation must meet a 1 Mbps bandwidth requirement. So, ano po yung bandwidth? Yung bandwidth po, yung binibigay ng internet provider na speed ng internet mo. So, inbound signal, wireless o wire. So, Wi-Fi access point model. So, ito po yung mga service provider natin. Smart, TNT. EM, Globe, at Sun. Ito naman po yung wired Wi-Fi na tinatawag o yung cable. Cable internet. Meron po tayo dito sa Pilipinas, One Sky, Signal, Destiny Cable, PLDT, Cable Link, at saka Converge ICT Solution. So ito po yung mga sikat. Ilang data nga bang nakukonsume ni Google Meet? So ito po. If you are using HD, peer-to-peer -peer video calling, it will consume up to 1.4 GB for an advanced participant and um, 8, 10, uh, up to 8, 810 MB for an inbound participant for an hour. 
lastly, for group video calls, it consume up to 1.4 gigabytes for outbound and inbound participant. Ano nga ba yung RAM na tinatawag? So, yung RAM po ay stands for Random Access Memory. Yan po yung RAM ng desktop. Ito naman po yung RAM ng laptop. Ano naman po yung ROM? So, yan ay Read-Only Memory. Ayan, Hard Disk Drive ang tawag dyan, HDD. Okay, so Solid State Drive. Gumagamit na yun ng SSD or Solid State Hardware Requirements Processor ni Google Meet. At least 2.2 GHz Intel 2nd generation i3, i5, i7. Process to support HD video. For SD video naman, 1.2 GHz processor will do. Okay, so ito yung mga processor. From Intel Pentium, yan yung unang labas. Intel Silver, tapos naging Gold, tapos naging Platinum. Tapos, pumasok na yung Core i3. Mas mataas na generation, mas mabilis. Meron tayong Intel Core i5, ayan, i7, Intel Core i9. So, paano nga ba mag-set up din ng mic sa Google Meet? Pindutin nyo yung setting. Ito kasi yung chase layout na to. Pwede kayong mamili dito kano yung layout ninyo. Kung gusto ninyo, pwede siyang tile, sidebar, spotlight. Okay, so setting tayo. So, dito mo makikita kung ano yung audio at video. So, ang ginamit, ginagamit ko dito ngayon ay yung GS3 na sound card. Ah, Nag-connect lang ako ng headset. So, makikita ninyo abang rin sa salita ko gumagalaw. Pag hindi po gumagalaw yan, ibig sabihin, wala po kayong audio. Hindi po gumagana yung audio ninyo. Sa video naman po, kung makikita nyo yung video ko, epo kam po ang gamit ko. So, ito po, yung recording, kung ikaw ang pumindot ng recording na to at inapprove ka ng host pero syempre ang host talaga ang nagre-record yung recording mo mapupunta sa Google Drive mo okay? okay I hope po marami kayong uh, yung mga na-share ko po I hope makatulong sa inyo